Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Yolanda. Welcome, Dagoberto. Irving. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure to see you again. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Irving? Very good, teacher. How about you? I'm very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, I, I have dinner already and I am here with you, so I'm happy. <laughs> How about you, Dagoberto? How was your day today? Hi. Good evening. Fine, it's fine. Uh, very tired, but yeah. fine. Yes, we always <laughs> we're always tired, right? But anyway, so trying to learn English is a good thing you are doing, right? Congratulations, yeah, congratulations. Because after working, <laughs> stay one hour in front of the of the window of your computer, and besides that, working in the platform is very hard. So I understand, right? Yes, okay. and it's good for you because you take your dinner. Oh yeah, <laughs> because oh, no. you, in, over, in my, my case, no. no sorry. <laughs> well, sometimes you can get a, a cookie, Yolanda, right? And from time to time, just very fast. <laughs> yeah. With, without camera. <laughs> <laughs> or oh, just like this, right? <laughs> okay. And I uh, was watching my the the pile of my dog yesterday, and, and it's true there is a, a bear, right? A bear. <laughs> a bear, not a bear. No beard. beard. <laughs> and I said, beer. What's that? <laughs> I thought you uh, think about beer. <laughs> no, no, no. A beer. A, a beer. Sorry, that. I go for it. Yolanda, you said that. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> okay, good. Uh -huh, Roberto. Excuse me, I didn't listen to you. Uh, Did, uh, no, you didn't say. You are. Tell. Uh, and it's Friday. No, it's not it's Friday. No, 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 it's Thursday. <laughs> yeah. Relax. Yeah. Wait. Ah, yeah. you mean because of the beer? Uh -huh, right. Beer. <laughs> yeah, exactly. right. Listen, Yolanda, the Alberto is telling you advice. You know, wait for Friday. Welcome uh, uh, to my group. <laughs> I don't drink, but sometimes I like to go out on Friday. Yeah. No, I don't drink. Sorry. But I, I like to drink, you know, soda and things like that, right? Okay, let's start with the class. Uh, we're going to make a little review, right, of the uh, topic of yesterday, uh, past continuous versus simple past, right? So I'm going to share an exercise with you. Let me see um, here. Sharing. Presentation. Blue here. Okay. And just give me a second. I um, just give me a second. I have problems with the to show you the. Is because uh, part of the screen doesn't permit me to open some tools. So just give me a second. I will try to do something here. No. Just give me a second, please. Um, here, presentation here. Yes. And. Ah, technology. Ah, here. Very good. Mm. Okay, I'm ready now. Okay. Very good. This was the class of yesterday, right? Okay, then we have an extra exercise to, to review the topic of yesterday, right? Okay, uh, the, the idea here is to, to join the, 
the column A with column B, right? Using the expression as, when, or while. Uh, yesterday we were learning that uh, as, when, or while are the same in this context. You can use the three, no problem, right? You can say as I was crossing, when I was crossing, while I was crossing, it's the same, no problem, right? Okay, uh, welcome to Rafael, Sofia, Fernando, Fernando, Thank you. Lucia, uh, and Noemi, right? Fernando is the first time you're in the class, right? Well, with me, I don't know with teacher Kaleva. <laughs> so welcome, welcome. I'm happy to have more students here. My name is Javier Gomez, Fernando, and welcome to this class. Hello? Okay, let's continue, let's continue. Good, so then, for example, you're going to uh, copy this. I was crossing the road, right? And then a car nearly hit me. Oops, nearly hit me, almost, right? Okay, then you're going to put the two things together and later, we're going to make the sentence, right? As I was crossing the road, a car nearly hit me, right? So remember the, the topic here, that is, ah, no, no, sorry, Fernando, you were in my class uh, last time, right, Fernando? Yeah, yeah, I remember, yes, <laughs> sorry. My memory is bad, my memory is bad, I'm sorry, Fernando. Okay, so, and, and then, uh, Remember that uh, we say that we were doing something in the past and then another past event interrupt my, my activity, right? So first I was doing the past continuous event action, right? And then the simple past came and interrupt my activity, right? So it means that when I was crossing or as I was crossing, the car hit, this is the very part, right? Hit. Because it's irregular verb with a hit, right? Okay. Then let's go to the next one, right? I was using my computer. Okay, who wants to help me with this? I was using my computer. Suddenly stopped working. Sorry, Yolanda? Uh, I think while I was using my computer, it suddenly stopped working. Stopped. Uh -huh. Stopped working. Stopped working, right? Okay, I was using my computer. It suddenly stopped working. Now, um, can you use the, the expression when, Yolanda, please? I, while, I think it's not while. possible to use while. Do it, do it, do it. Do okay. it. Uh -huh. While I was using my computer, uh, it suddenly stopped working. Very good, stop working, right? Good. Now, uh, do me a favor, Yolanda, sorry to bother you so much, but now I need you change the two sentence. First you say, uh, when my computer was... suddenly, uh -huh. Okay, uh, my computer suddenly stopped working while I was using it. Very good. Now, in the last question, sorry. Sorry, Yolanda, to bother you so much. Uh, the last question, what thing happened first? First, the use of the computer or I first use... the computer stopped? No, uh, I use in my computer. This is the first action. The using of the computer, right? This is the first action and it was interrupted by the uh... simple pass. Stop. Stop. Very good. Let's go to the next one. We were playing tennis. Volunteers, please. Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. We were playing tennis when my racket broke. Okay, now again, interchange it. I mean. Uh, when my, my, bra my, my racket my, broke. Um, my racket broke when I was playing tennis. I was playing tennis. Oh, we were playing tennis, right? We were playing tennis. It's the same. Yes. yes, very good. It's uh, ah, my bell. Sorry, I forgot my bell. So. <laughs> Congratulations, Yolanda <laughs> and Rafa. Okay, thank you very much. Now, next one, please. I was taking a shower. The water got cold. 
Okay, the water got cold, right? Imagine, yeah, it's, it, or it's, the water it's winter, right? huh? got cold when uh -huh. I was taking a shower. Very good, excelentoso, right? Nice. And the last, the last one, I was cooking dinner. Who wants to help me? Crisia, Noemi, Irvin. Me, teacher. Okay, Crisia. Thank you, Crisia. Uh, I, while I was cooking dinner, I burned my finger. I burned, I burned my finger. It's very calm, right? Now, again, please do me a favor, Christian. Interchange the two while, things. While I was cooking dinner, I burned my finger. No, then I burned my finger. Oh, I burned my finger while I was cooking dinner. And what is the first event? Burn the finger or cook the dinner? Cooking dinner. Very good. So I was cooking, you know, imagine then the event of burn. The uh, burning my finger happened, right? Okay, I guess it's clear, right? Now uh, we're going to go to the to the platform and let me do something here, class. And I will close this and I will open the platform here, right? Okay. And then here, compartir, sharing, right? Okay, good. So now we're in the platform, right? And we were learning about a video of a campfire, right? A frightening story, a spooky story about a campfire, right? Then uh, we were learning about the past continuous, right? We were making some exercises. We saw the video too. And now we're going to check if you didn't have problems with the exercise, right? These are just three questions, right? And the answer is simple, right? The verb work, discover, and film are going to be managed as past continuous or simple past, right? Um, before we go to this, I have a question. Did everybody finish this part? Yes. because. We can make it together, just an exception, just to practice, right? Good. So, uh, for example, let's say, give me a second. Mauricio is with us today? No, right? Okay, so uh, Dagoberto, please. Just one example, right? What did you copy here? While divers were working or while divers worked? When, while drivers uh, was were working. Okay, were working, right? Let me see. Okay. Submit. And correct. Very good. Very so good. that is the idea, right? That when you see an activity, if this was in the two events were in the past, right? But one event was in progress and it was interrupted by other events. Here, for example, it says, while divers were working in uh, the, off the coast of Florida, they discovered a shipwreck containing wolf, gold, sorry, worth $2 million, right? Okay, so I'm sure you, you, you know the answer of this, right? I'm not going to answer because remember, it's not permitted to develop these exercises in class, but I'm sure you got it good, right? Good. Now, any extra question about this topic? Because this is the review of the last class. Any extra questions, something that is difficult for you? No? For the moment, no. For the moment, no. Oh, okay. Good. Uh, sorry, but... Um, I have a riddle for you um, because my computer is is, uh, is uh, putting me a, a light of alarm in this moment, right? Something happened 
in my surrounding. But so for that reason, I have this riddle for, for you before I continue, right? So what is something that has four wheels, four wheels and flies? What is that? Something that has four wheels, wheels, you know, and flies. What is that? Yolanda, you, you are the one that I, I suppose you like this kind of riddles, right? Questions. Four wheels and, and what? Something, Dagoberto, that has four wheels and flies. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. The answer is a garbage truck. Garbage truck. You know, camión de la basura, right? Garbage truck. Because it has four wheels and bzz, 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 flies. Understand? Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. I understand the exercise now. Uh -huh. Okay. You, <laughs> You can make this riddle to another person, something that has four wheels and flies, right? But it's not flies of like Rafael, right? In, no, no, it's no, not Rafael. Yes, Moscas. Rafael in, in the plane, you know? Yeah. But no, it's flies of the, the, the insect, right? And in my computer it says, surrounding we have music, but it's not music. Ah. It's the, and and the, the, the truck that is next of my neighborhood. Okay, good. Now let's continue. Let's continue, class. News broadcast. Do you understand what is news broadcast? For example, now that, that we have the news broadcast is... Broadcast. Uh -huh, it's uh, La Noticia, right? News broadcast. It's, uh, for example, now it's very common, the, uh, for example, uh, Ukraine news, right? That what is happening between Russia and Ukraine? And... Uh, the major of the city, you know, Alcaldía San Salvador, that they are cleaning the downtown and the violence in our country too, right? That a lot of people are going to, to jail. So these are like the news broadcasts, right? So this news broadcast is a listening exercise. So we are going to listen and we're going to answer the questions. Where did the first story happen? Where did the first story happen? In Australia? In Thailand? In Hollywood, California? With Will Smith, with the company Will Smith in Hollywood, California. Then number two, what happened on the first story? A man almost strangled to death by a, by a snake. A man was almost strangled to death, to death, sorry, by a mother in law, oh, sorry, excuse me, by a snake. Two teenage girls who disappeared were found. Or oh, two police officers were rescued by the thief, thief they were chasing. Number three, where did the second story happen? In Australia, in Thailand, or in Hollywood, California? And to finish, we're going to answer what happened on the second story. A man was almost strangled to death by a, by a mother, in, sorry again, by a snake. Two teenage girls who disappeared were found or two police officers were recruited by thief where they, they were chased, right? And oh, it's, we have more questions. Where did the third story happen? What happened on the third story? And that's it, right? So we have six questions. Six questions in total, right? Okay, we're going to listen to the story two times. After we answer, you give your answers. Uh, we're going to discuss together, right? Because this exercise is very good to practice your English listening ability, right? Okay, uh, let me see if everything is okay with my computer. Mm, the violin is good. Okay, so I expect everything is good. So listen, please. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll develop skills in listening for details, develop note-taking skills, listen to news stories. We will listen to an audio program with different news stories. Your task is to take notes and 
identify where did the story take place, when did it happen, and what actually happened. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Okay, this is the first. Again, listen, please. When did it happen? And what act? When did it happen? And what actually happened? Okay. So let's listen to the audio program at this time. And take notes, right? Take notes. A man was seriously injured on Sunday by a three and a half meter snake in a town in Thailand. It seems that the man ran over to see the snake after friends told him that it was beside one of the town's main roads. The man put it around his neck, and while he and his friends were walking home, the snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Okay, listen to the vocabulary, right? Injured is when you re receive something on your body, a human person, right? A human. A, a car, for example, cannot be injured. A car, a house, a telephone, a computer, can be damaged, damaged. But we people, we got injured. I-N-J-U-R-E-D, right? Injured, okay? So, and then they say that uh, there was a snake on the road, right? And they, they mentioned the word squeeze. You know what is squeeze? Who knows what is squeeze? It's similar to strang strangled. It's similar to strangle, right? But you can also, uh, for example, you have a lemon and you're making a lemonade, you squeeze, uh, you know, the, the lemon, right? Or you can squeeze a person when you hug the person, right? Like you say, abrazo del oso, right? <laughs> Bear hug. So uh, you can squeeze a person, right? Also, when you're drinking water, right? They say squeezer. So it's because you squeeze and you drink water in those container, right? So in this case, the, the snake, the snake uh, squeezed it, you know? Okay, that's the, the story. Now let's go to the to the question. We are not going to answer, right? It's a rhetorical question. <laughs> you please don't tell me the answer. We're going just to, to make the question, right? Where did the first story happen? You heard the story of the snake, right? In Australia, in Thailand, or in Hollywood. What happened on the first story? A man was almost strangled to death. Two teenage girls were, who disappeared were found, or two police officers were rescued. Okay? Now you have the two answers, right? Don't tell me. No, please. <laughs> okay, let's continue. Let's go to the second story. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Okay, again. The snake squeezed more and more tightly. Luckily, the man got the snake off his neck in time. Okay, the second one. Two teenage girls who disappeared from a ship were found alive and well. The girls turned up on Friday near a small town on the northeast coast of Australia. The girls said they were visiting a friend on the ship and fell asleep in their friend's cabin. When they woke up, the ship was heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, 
and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. A ship is a big boat, right? It's a big boat, a ship. Yesterday we were talking about Titanic, for example, but, but this, this boat is not so big, the one that, in the story, but it's, it's a ship, right? Then um, the intonation, the accent of this guy in the second one is, is very special. Class, where do you think the men of the world news is from? What country? You say, hey, mate, the teenage girl. Uh, Australia. Australia, yes. You know, one common way to say hello in Australia, for example, you say, hey, mate, right? In United States, hey, you, how are you? Hey, fellas, how are you? You know, in United States, but in, in, in Australia, they say, hey, 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 mate, <laughs> okay? Australia, right? And the kangaroo land. Good. Now, let's go to the questions. Question three. Where the second, where did the second story happen? Australia, Thailand, or Hollywood, right? California. What happened in the second story? Huh? Okay, good. At this moment, do you have questions about vocabulary? A word that you hear and say, ah, que dice ahí? What did he say? Do you have any question about this for the moment? No questions? Oh, okay. no questions. Very good. Congratulations. So let's continue with the third story. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, we're going to do something special. I see that, Roberto, you have problems on time to listen, right? So what we're going to do is to uh, reduce the speed, right? Look, from 1.0 to 0 0.75. So listen again. When they woke up, the oh. ship was oh. heading for Singapore. So they jumped off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Okay, let's go to the last one, listen. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, and even more, look, we can reduce more, 0 0.50, look. Off the ship, swam to shore, and had to walk for several days to get to the nearest town. Early Tuesday morning in California, two police officers were chasing a car thief when they suddenly lost control of their vehicle and drove into a river. Surprisingly, the thief went back to the scene of the accident and helped rescue the officers from the river. The local police department dropped all charges against the thief for saving the officers' lives. Okay, that's it, right? Good, then we have the last two questions. Where did the third story happen? Australia, Thailand, Hollywood, California, right? California. Well, and what happened? A man was almost strangled, the teenage girls or the police office, right? Okay, uh, for the vocabulary in this third story, Chasing is when, for example, imagine a tiger, a tiger tries to catch 
what uh, a pig, for example, right? And I, 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 the pig is running, right? And after the the, the pig, rrr, the tiger is following the the pig, so that is chasing, right? Also, uh, in this case, the police was chasing, was running to try to catch the the, the thief, the thief, right? So that is chasing, chasing, right? Okay, good. Uh, any question or about these three audios? Any word that you don't understand? Okay, so we're going to do something, right? Let's go back to every story, right? And you're going to help me to uh, tell the story in your own words. In this exercise, do not worry about your English or about uh, pronunciation, right? Just try to express uh, your ideas. Sorry for my dog, you know. Okay, try to express your idea, right? Okay, let's start with Crisia. Crisia, can you tell me what happened in the first story in your own words? Uh, in Thailand, uh -huh. uh, the man is uh, strangled by a snake. Or you can see a squeeze. Uh -huh. when, when the snake was squeezing the man, what happened? Um, he took, try to he took, took snake. off, took off the snake, right? Took off, se quito, you know, took off the snake. Okay. So at the end, he was alive, right? Good, good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, let me see. Fernando, the second story, please, in your own words. Okay, uh, in Australia, mm -hmm. in Australia, uh, in a chip, okay. uh, two girls uh, were disappeared, but at the end, uh, they was found it. <laughs> they were found it, uh huh, and they they were doing something in the cabin, right? In in the chip, in the cabin, they were sleep. They were, they were sleeping. sleeping. <laughs> okay, good. And then what happened at the end? Where was the chip heading to? Uh, they mentioned a country, Fernando. I don't remember. I don't remember. Okay, <laughs> don't worry. That's enough. Rafael, continue, please. The chip was heading to what country, Rafael? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I had to answer a work call. Ah, you, you okay, don't worry, yes. don't worry, Rafael. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> uh, so let me see. Um, uh, Irving, please, Irving. Okay, Fernando told us that the, the two girls were found because after they were on a ship and they were sleeping on the cabin, and you imagine the ship, right? On the ocean, right? Yes. And, and, and Irving. The story said that the, the ship was heading, dirigiéndose a, right? Was heading to one country. What, what is that country? country? I don't know, maybe Australia, I think. Uh huh. But that was, I will tell the name. Sorry. It's, sorry? Thailand. Uh, no, it's, a, it's in Asia, yes, but it's, it's Singapore. Oh, uh, Singapore. Singapore, Hi. right. And then, what did the girls do at the end, Irvin? They have to work several days to get to the nearest town. Yeah. So they were swimming, right? And they went to the coast and they were walking, right? Like where we where we are. Imagine the scene, right? Okay, yeah. good. Thank you, Irvin. Thank you very much. Now let me see. Uh who wants to help me? Sophia, please. The third story. Um, the tree story is in California mm -hmm. about two police officers uh, uh, have an accident in a river. Uh, and... but, be, but, but before the, the accident, what happened, Sofia? What were uh, they doing? Uh, 
to tear uh, rescue the police officer. Okay, one, one thief, one thief, one thief. Uh -huh. or the two. Okay, <laughs> very good. That's that's okay. That's okay. So don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Mauricio, did you hear the story, Mauricio? Uh, yes, I I heard the story. Okay, the, the story, but I I don't understand a lot. You didn't understand very well. Okay. Yeah. Well, um, I I I hear about that. Say that the two police officers was in uh, uh, were in problem. They uh -huh. were rescued, but uh, uh, but I don't know. Uh, you don't know what happened. The, uh, don't know Mauricio, what happened. did you hear the word chasing? Do you know what is the meaning of chasing? Chasing. C H A S I N G. Chasing, right? See, we're chasing. No, I don't know what does that mean. Eh, well, in Spanish is persiguiendo, cazando, you know, Persi perseguir, cazar, okay. Ah, okay. So who, who was chasing who? <laughs> eh, who was chasing who? Uh -huh. eh, I don't know. Okay. The two police officers were chasing? No, I don't know. Okay, I don't, okay, don't worry, don't worry, Mauricio, don't worry. The two police officers were chasing the thief, right? They were okay. trying to catch, to arrest the, the thief, you know? Okay, and then, like Sofia said, they had an accident, right? Okay. And Dagoberto, who helped to rescue the two police officers in the river? The, the thief, the thief uh, right? helped, helped them. Okay, did they take off the charge, no los cargos, the charge to the thief? Yes or no, Noemi? Hello, Noemi. Okay. Sorry, I cannot see Noemi. Uh, well, she left the... Yolanda, so Yolanda, help me. Did they... Yes. Uh, sorry? They uh, take off the charges. Yeah, they took off the charge, right? They, they, they liberated... Took off. The, yes, they took off. They liberate the thief, right? Because it's okay, man, you help us go to your house, right? <laughs> okay, guys, this is um, something uh, really uh, uh, sometimes difficult because um, it's difficult to understand the story, right? So my recommendation is uh, that in order you, you uh, improve your, your listening skills, your listening abilities, I recommend you see movies. One movie every week in English, that's enough, right? One movie, okay? That's my recommendation. If you want to improve your listening uh, skills, your listening activity, right? Uh, my recommendation is this. Uh, sometimes, it's boring uh, to watch a movie that you don't understand very well, right? For that reason, my recommendation is that you begin watching movies for kids, movies for children. Let's say, for, ex for example, Despicable One, Shrek, uh, Ice Age, um, uh, The Minions, you know, Cinderella, uh, Toy Story, Movies for children, right? Then you start watching movies like five, 10 movies, 15 movies for children. After that, you go and watch other kind of movies. My recommendation is uh, romance, you know, uh, stories that are not difficult to understand, right? I do not recommend action movies. Why not? Because they use, you know, um, not appropriate words <laughs> sometimes. And also they use too much slang. Slang is caliche. In the action movie, they, you know, like Will Smith, Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, Jean-Claude Van Damme, you know, Javier Gomez and other heroes <laughs> that, that they, they are in those movies, they don't speak very slow. They speak 
very fast, right? So my recommendation again is to watch movies for children. One movie every week, class. And also, this is my personal experience. I learn English by listening to music, okay? I learn English by listening to music. So please, uh -huh. listen to a song every week. Try to memorize the song, right? In my case, you know, I am not very young, so I listen to the 70s, to the 80s, to the 90s, right? And I, I watch the lyrics, you know, la letra de la canción, the lyrics, right? And I, I practice, you know, I practice. So, so that's my recommendation, okay? Good. So let's continue with the class. Any extra question for the moment? Sure. Yes. Uh, some, something that we can do uh, or something that, that I do is to watch um, the news in English. That's okay. Very good, Irving. The news. Yeah. Yeah. There are some channels like the BBC and CNN. Uh huh. In the cable, right? Tigo or Claro, they they have some uh, places where some some uh, channels where you can listen to the the news. For example, CNN, Fox, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you listen and you practice. The idea is that that if you're learning, the best way to learn English is to be in touch with English, right? Like, okay, like even said that music is a good way to to learn, right? Also, another way to learn is um. Uh, listening to audiobooks in YouTube, there are some videos where you have audiobooks. Last time I was listening to Tom Sawyer, for example, I love Tom Sawyer's story, right? So I was listening the audiobook, and there were other books like uh, Little Women, for example, Mujercitas, the book, right? So in audio, and there are many tutorials in YouTube where you listen and practice for uh, beginners, intermediate and advanced students, right? So I recommend you copy, listening, listening exercises. So you will see many videos and you practice and you can do anything you want. You can mop the floor, you can clean your house and you're listening, right? You're listening you, the YouTube video. Huh? It's not necessary that you are in front of the screen watching like this, right? No, no, you can do other things and listening, right? So three recommendations. Like Irvin said, watching the news in English, watching a movie every week, listen to a song every week and watching tutorial videos in YouTube, right? Okay, class, let's continue. Today, we're going to open a new topic, right? In this, we are in the section number four, remember? In section four, mm -hmm. we were learning about uh, a video, the past continuous versus simple past, an exercise of listening, right? News broadcast. And today we're going to open a new topic, 4.7. The use of past perfect, right? It says, by the end of this lesson, you will learn how to, to use, sorry, you will learn to use the past perfect tense, right? Because uh, it's a quarter to, to nine, we're going to introduce the topic on it, right? And tomorrow, I know some of you don't like Friday classes, <laughs> but yes, the, yes, we are going to have classes tomorrow. So tomorrow we are going to finish the topic, right? So today we're going to introduce only the topic, right? And let's start with the video, right? What is the past perfect, right? Okay, let's watch the video. Hi everyone, by the end of this class, you'll be able to express an event that occurred before another event in the past. For example, I went to a party last weekend, but when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. I'll explain the structure in a little bit, but the most important thing to remember about this topic is how and when to use it. Therefore, I'd like to spend a few minutes giving lots of examples. So if um, we write the example that I uh, gave to you in, uh, just a couple of seconds ago, uh, I, let me write that down. I went to a party last weekend, but 
but uh, when I got there, my friend had eaten all the food. Okay, so if we think about that example there, what I'm doing is I'm talking about two events that occurred in the past. And it's important for me to relate the two because that will uh, emphasize my idea. It will outline what I'm trying to express. I went to a party last week. This is what took place last week. So that is that X, if you will, all right? But when I got there, my friends had eaten all the food. Sorry to interrupt, one moment, right? Okay, let me give you the picture. The past continues and the simple past are one event that is happening in the past in a continuous way, interrupted by another event, right? And now the past perfect, here we're talking about two events, the two events, right? And one event occur before the other event. Again, one event occur, happen before another event, right? That is the idea, okay? And then here we have the past event in any time, right? Past continues, simple past, past of verb to be any past event, right? Event number one. Event number two. The second event is described with the past perfect. What is the past perfect? The use of have plus a past participle verb. What is a past participle verb? That is what in Spanish we know like adoído, right? Adoído. Eh, he bebido, he comido, he soñado, right? So that adoído, what we know in Spanish, is what we call the past participle verb, right? We use this in the future perfect, in the present perfect, in the past perfect, okay, in the uh, present continuous perfect, you know, in, in all the perfect events, we use past participle. And remember, we have uh, regular verbs and irregular verbs, right? With the regular verbs, we have ed to the verbs, right? And with the Irregular verbs, we have to memorize at least, right? In YouTube, you can find many videos where you can find a list of verbs and you can practice the irregular verb, right? Okay, but the question is, what happened first? The past event or the past perfect event? Let's continue with the video, let's continue. This is the event in the circle that you see there. This happened before I got to the party. So whenever I say I went to a party last weekend and my friends ate all the food, what that means is that I went to the party. And when I got there, there was food at the party. And then my friends ate it. But that's not really what I want to express. What I really want to explain is that I went to the party and there was no more food left because something had happened before that. And that was the fact that my friends ate the food. So that's why this is really important. You need to know when to use this particular topic. So I'm gonna continue to and give you more examples. Now let's look at the examples on the chart. Okay, guys, uh, let me see. I want to show you this, right? So, uh, just give me a second here. Okay, very good. I went to the party, to a party, right? Look, when is simple pass. But when I got there, my friend had eaten, right? So we have the auxiliary had, that means in this case, habían, right? In the past, a participle, I mean, in the past perfect, excuse me. And then we have the past participle, eaten, that means in Spanish, comido, right? Okay, so this is the past perfect. Now, in the line of time, I need you to tell me what happened first. Okay, what happened first? I went to the party, 
Uh, give me some sec. Okay, very good. My internet was down. Okay, but now it's, it's okay. Okay, my I went to the party or oh, my friends ate the food. What happened first? Who wants to help me? I think uh, the friends ate he uh, went to the party. Went to the party. Okay, first went to the party first. or had eaten? They eaten the food. He arrived at the party. They ate no food. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Now, uh, I, I, I have problems to, to listen very well, but uh, I will explain this. Hello, hello again. I'm sorry. Uh, my internet is not working well. Sorry. Sorry again, like yesterday. Excuse me. Okay, but I'm back. Uh, let me share again the, the platform. Okay, continue, continue, class. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry, I, I normally don't use uh, Spanish in this context, but I'm sure you will understand if I say in Spanish, right? Listen, it says, uh, cuando yo llegué a la fiesta, ya mis amigos se habían comido toda la comida, right? Okay, so yo llegué a la fiesta, pero antes de eso, ya lo habían comido. So I went to a party, and then when I got there, something had happened in the past or before this event, right? My I got it. Had eaten all the food, right? So again, what happened first? Go to the party or my friends eat the food? Your my friends, friends eat, eat the, the food. food. My friends eat the food, correct, right? And when I got there, no food, right? No food at all, right? So that is the idea. So I went to a party and my friends ate all the food, he said, right? Very good. So let's continue with the video. Let's continue with the video. As you can see, the examples on the chart um, refer to, uh, basically it's a, it's a person that uh, was at the gym and uh, he forgot to lock his locker. And therefore this is what took place. Right? As we'll analyze the examples that are there, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker. All right, wait, let, let's stop there for a second. I was working out is the past event. That's that X, if you will. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to relate the second event to that past event. And I have put my stuff in my locker. So that, that I have put my stuff in my locker is the past perfect event that happened before this past event. So it's that little blue circle that you see there. When I came back, that's that event there. That's the uh, past event. Okay. Someone had stolen my wallet. So um, I came back, but before this event, someone had stolen my wallet. All right. They were able to steal it. That's the past event. So that's that X, if you will. Because I had forgotten to lock the locker. All right now, that is the past perfect event, as you can see. There. Let me just give one last example here didn't have any money. Okay, before to go to the last event, right? The last example, sorry, uh, of the video, right? Let's go back to this. Here they show a dot and an X, right? So this event, the point, the dot happened before the X, right? So let's go to this expression. Remember the past event could be described in any past structure. Here in this case is past continuous. In the second one is simple past. And in the last is the, the past of verb to be, right? Now, I was working out and I have put my stuff in my locker. So what happened first? Working or put my stuff in my locker? What happened first? You put your stuff in your locker. Okay, so it means that 
imagine today's Thursday, right? And yesterday was Wednesday. Wednesday, I put my stuff, I, made, I put everything in my locker. And today- well, do you arrive, right? I arrive, very good. Exactly. To the place, and then I was working, right? There, right? Good, so in this case, working is the X and put my stuff in my locker is the dot, the point here, right? It's important. Understand? So what happened first? First, put my stuff in the locker. Let's go to the second example, right? I came back. I don't know, sorry, I was working out, he says, right? And then the person came, came back. And then someone has stolen, right? His wallet. Again, what happened first? They stole the, the wallet or he came back? What happened first? Stole the wallet. Someone stole the wallet and then I yes. came back. Again, yes. stole the wallet is the first event here, right? The dot, the, the point. <sighs> and the returning, the coming back is the X. The same happened here. They were able to steal it because I have forgotten. First, I forgot. And then someone stole the, my stuff, right? Okay, the last example. Let's go, let's finish with the video. As I had forgotten my wallet. So what I want to explain is that I didn't have any money, but I want to give a reason on why I didn't have any money. So I'm talking about two events from the past. One is that I didn't have any money. That's that X that you see there. All right, so let me go ahead and uh, highlight that in uh, uh, the highlight that in a greenish color. All right. And um, before this, I want to explain that I had forgotten my wallet at home, and that's the reason why I didn't have any money. So as you can see, both events are um, are related. Okay, good. So to finish, I will show you something here. Okay. Let me see. Good. Past perfect, right? Good. So this is complicated, but try to, to focus, right? It says, pass had left my wallet. Now in this moment, wasn't able to pay. So it says, I wasn't able to pay for lunch because I had left my wallet at work. So the two events are in the past, as you know, because this is the past, this is the present, right? Present, now, past. The two events happen in the past. The two events, left my wallet, won't be able to pay, right? The two events. But what happened first? What happened first? According to this example, had left my wallet is the first event. The yes. second event is wasn't able to, to pay, right? Okay, I went to eat some taquitos and then no money, no pisto. For the some taquitos. pupusas. Some pupusas. <laughs> yes, I went to the pupusodromo and then no money, right? So in this case, again, I repeat, the first event is described with the past perfect. The second event could be described by any other structure that is about the past. I couldn't pay. I I didn't eat. I I was sleeping. I don't know any structure in the simple past, right? Okay. Then here we have other example, right? Combine the two ideas into one with a past event and a past perfect event, right? We're going to use when or because the museum closed. A thief stole a famous painted painting, sorry, earlier, right? So the answer is the museum closed because, this is the connector, a thief has stolen a famous painting earlier, right? Again, class, what happened first? 
the museum closed or someone stole the painting? A thief stole a famous painting. Very good. So a thief stole a famous painting. You know someone stole, stole right? the painting. Okay, very good, excellent, right? It's for I'm you. Mona Lisa. <laughs> yeah. And then, <laughs> probably, right? Probably a Mona Lisa. Okay, and then that's the reason the museum closed, right? So first, they stole the painting, okay? And then they closed it, the museum, right? Probably uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, no, sorry, <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci <laughs> painted that, right? Okay, very good. So we're going this to do something, class. Uh, normally, I don't give homework, right? But because it's, it's time to... To, to finish the class, I need you capture, you capture this, this screen with your computer, right? Capture the screen. And for tomorrow, <laughs> we are going to, to make the, I'm gonna give you the answer for this exercise, right? But try to make it by your own, right? Try to make it in your house. And tomorrow we're going to discuss the answer. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, so. Uh, I repeat, this topic is not very easy, but uh, if we go slow right, and we, we watch the, the videos, right, we're not going to have problems to understand, right? Uh, today I have another friend. He's going to say goodbye. Okay, uh, the name of my friend is Dudu. Dudley, Dudley, yes. I know you have a lot of friends, teacher. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye. And Sophia, too. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. Take care. God bless you. <laughs> okay. Goodbye. Okay. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye. 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 Bye.